Joe, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, no, not too bad. So, looking forward to the game Saturday. The um, I don't think we've had a chance to catch up with you since Doncaster, maybe. Yeah. Um, how have you assessed the kind of start of the season so far overall? Um, it's it's been ups and downs with with every season, I suppose. Um, I guess that that tells a story with where we're on the table. I think we've won five and lost five, so. Um, there's plenty to work on, but they've also had some some really good results. Um, played some good football, and we've definitely stamped our authority on this league, which we wanted to do. So it's down to us now to to keep the consistency and and make sure we do perform at our our level that we know we can reach, um, like we've shown on many occasions this season. Um, so no, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a, a challenging year, but something that we're really relishing. Do you think if um Obviously, we're coming off the back of a couple of defeats, mm. so it frames the question differently. But do you think if you'd been offered this start to the season before the season had started, you'd have taken it, or would you like to be a little bit further up? Obviously, we we want to be higher up the table, and it's 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 not in our nature to sort of settle for 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 mediocrity and, and mid table. But um, like I said, when you look at the bigger picture, we're we're not in too bad a spot, and we've had a good good two results in the FA Cup as well, which which backs up that as well. So. Um, yeah, like you said, you you can always look back in hindsight and think 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 differently. But um, for us personally, we know what we want to achieve this year and and where we want to be, where we so we need to to improve on that. But yeah, like you said, it hasn't been a terrible start. A bit of a disappointing night on Tuesday, but they don't happen very often at home park. Uh, you were back in training yesterday, weren't you? How how are the boys after that? Yeah, no, we we came in yesterday and and, and looked through the video and, and talked through it all. I think it's the the best way to do. You have to take responsibility for for that result and, and hold your hands up and accept that it wasn't good enough and it wasn't near the levels that, and the standards that we've set. Um, so yeah, we came in the next day and, and like I said, looked through the goals and, and what we can improve on and, and where we went wrong. Um, and like I said, once once you do that and you look at yourself and and see what you could do better, um, it means today's a new day and. You've got a big game Saturday, and the, like I said, the good thing about football is you've got a next game to to turn it around. So, yeah, like I said, all the boys are feeling good this morning and looking forward to training. And like I said, a good couple of days coming up. Massive boost, timely boost, I guess, is that the fans will be back mm. on Saturday. How how are the group feeling about that? Yeah, it's amazing, and it's it, like I said, I was, I was listening on the radio this morning, and it's a real, real excitement. Um, just for, just for them as well as as well as us. Like I said, we've missed them massively. Um, but I can't imagine how much they've missed coming into the ground, and um, it's, it'll be a massive occasion, albeit only a couple of thousand. But it'll feel like a lot more because, like I said, we've 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 missed having them here, especially at home. Um, so no, yeah, we're really excited. Um, it's great that we've got got it so soon, and, and, and we can we can bring the bring, bring the fans in. So now I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, been a, a really peculiar season. Have you have you managed to, without them being here, have you managed to still feel their support? You, obviously, you know they're watching on iFollow, social media, and stuff like that. Do you still feel connected to them? Yeah, definitely. Um, this this club has a special way of connecting the fans and the players, and um, you you really know how much it means to to everyone in and around in and around the place. And like I said, if you are on social media, you'll 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 obviously see the reports and and, and get the feedback from them. And it's always been it's always been great and positive for myself. So. Yeah, no, they've always been with us every step of the way. Um, we know that they bring an extra, an extra edge to our game when they are here because of how good they are and, uh, and when they travel with us. So um, it has been missed, but we always feel the feel them, feel them with us. And what are you expecting from Ipswich on Saturday? It's gonna be a tough game. Um, they're obviously a good team, got some good players, um, and it'll be they're, they're, they're very solid and, and hard to play against and, and don't concede many goals. So. It's down to us to break them down and, and, and try and play our play our game and, and what we're good at. Um, but we have to respect them, but also realise how good we can be on our day and, and know we've beaten the, some of the top teams in this league already. Um, so like we're going with confidence, but also just, just mindful of the, the respect for them. Wish you well, Joe. Thank you very much. <laughs>